First off, um, I want to call up Olivia George. Come on up, Olivia. <laughs> So, Olivia has been the greatest help to me. She, I mean, in my <laughs> like I relied on her and her to help claim sporting events and like the Battle of the Bands and assemblies and, you know, do you line up in the hallway before you go to the football games? Or, I mean, just all these little things that you just had no idea, didn't think to think about until like you're in the moment. And so she had answers for all these things. So while I, the other thing, she was hugely important in keeping some traditions going while I'm learning the ropes. So thank you, Olivia, for being my go-to drum major and making this place fun. So the next couple of awards, these are music department awards which represent all three of our disciplines here, choir, orchestra, and band. The first one, every year, the music department votes on someone to receive the music department medallion. This is the person who is a top-notch musician, puts in a great deal of extra time, and helps build up the music community at Liberty. I hope I'm not gonna get in trouble for doing this, but I thought, I gotta recognize this guy. So anyway, if I'm in trouble, I guess people will forgive me. I'm a first-year teacher. This is Eric Spradley. He just puts in a ton of extra work and time. He helps this place be a great place to make music. Um, if you really should try to come out to hear the choir, Music Alive, it's not just choir, but he wrote a combined, a full orchestra and choir. It was an arrangement of the Irish, what is it, did you write it? Composed, composed, or orchestrated. So he kind of orchestrated this thing and it sounds really great. So come and hear his work on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock as well. So give a hand for Eric. <laughs> I just realized this person had not pieced out, but we'll find out if he's here. Um, every year, the Marines recognize a skilled instrumentalist at high schools across the country um, for musicianship, leadership, and citizenship. And for this award, I have nominated bass player Marcus Milico. He might have took off because he only played in the jazz band, but he'll get recognized. His parents, oh, excellent. The Marines are going to send something here soon. I don't have it yet. But Marcus, he is just the time of the jazz band. Shows up ready to go, puts in, again, a, these people put in amazing hours here in the drama department. The Queen plays extra for the choir, he plays extra for the orchestra. It's, he's really a Oh, there he is, I hear him. Oh, there he is. Drummer is able to do that, 
your band plays so much better. So thank you, Ashton, for your all your great work. Thank you. And lastly, I made the director's award. So these students are among the top instrumentalists in the senior class and are always prepared for rehearsals. They put in extra hours at home and seek any and all opportunities to perform. These students are leaders who help make the Liberty Band a fun and rewarding place to make music and grow. These students are Sharon Long and Emerson Cullen. Sharon! So this is a good, I want to bring all the seniors up here from the Symphonic Band up and with ensemble. Please come to the front for a second, all of the seniors. since I only get to work with these people for a year. These are a really neat bunch of people who I'm sad to see leave and I wish I could have had a full four years with. It made my time wonderful and just thank you. So give these folks a hand for their time. basketball games, um, school days, making, making up tests for festivals, coming to concerts like these, when maybe they don't feel great, maybe they got to still write a paper tonight, um, you know, taking lessons, buying instruments, you folks, driving them to all these different places. For four years, that's a big commitment. And so I really want to recognize four years worth of deciding to make music and making it something you do and a habit. So again, one more time. Except for Musical Live people. I don't know what you're doing, but Musical Live, you should know what you're doing. And another piece I wrote on the program, which most of you I think know about by now, is Bandcamp. Bandcamp used to be the first week of August, and I've moved it to the August 18th. That's about as late as I could make it and still have some time on the field. So August 18th to 22nd, put it on your calendar, 9 a.m. to noon. It'll be good, and we'll get to making music. All right, so thank you all for coming out, supporting us tonight. I appreciate it. It sounded great. And thank you for supporting this great program. Thank you.